I said I'd talk to you in a bit more detail about the water tank, so let's take it off and tell you a bit more about this. First and foremost, please don't be putting any detergents, it does say so on the lid, no detergents into this tank. Primarily because we're going to be boiling them and it's not a good idea to be boiling your detergents. Inside here we have a sand filter. This is designed to take out any major impurities that may end up in the tank. So please when you're filling it, fill it with clean water from the tap or from a jug, not by using your mop bucket and tipping it in there. That way you get the residues and bits and pieces from the bottom of the bucket can end up in there and will soon clog that filter. So when we put some water in here, ideally bring a jug to the, to the machine rather than taking the tank to the tap. So you've got a jug of two litres of water here. This should steam for approximately one hour, 45 minutes to one hour. That's steam only. If you start using your water release trigger to release further water onto the brushes, obviously you're going to decrease that time. So I always advise, keep an eye on it, check it every 10 or 15 minutes, and if you can see the sand filter poking through the top of the water, grab yourself another jug and top it up again. So we now have water in the machine. We're now going to talk to you about hydroscale. Hydroscale is a lime scale inhibitor. It's there to break down the lime scale at source before it gets into your steam generator. So the dosage of this is approximately 50 millilitres per tank per cleaning session, which of this little bottle that we give you a sample of, it's approximately one quarter of this. So we now have hydroscale and water in the machine and we're ready to go.